Have you been looking for a game that features the magic and technology of turn-of-the-century industrialization mechanics? Well, if not, you should have been because it's time to get hot and steamy with far-changing tides. Dive into the role of a bushy-haired protagonist as they make their way in this post-apocalyptic water world. After a bit of playful swimming and platforming in this realm devoid of humanity, you'll stumble into a room where you'll be trapped in a mysterious diving suit with a built-in propeller. Soon you'll also happen upon a ship meticulously crafted to have a shape that is in no way conducive to sailing that you'll soon start sailing right out of the dock. If this seems in any way familiar, then you've probably played the predecessor to this game, Far Lone Sails, a game where you take a giant steam and wind-powered behemoth from left to right and explore a world where everyone has taken a break from being alive. Much like this previous game, you'll once again be ever-oriented to the right, only this time you're on the wet side of the apocalypse and you're gonna have to float the whole way to safety. Not long after you begin your journey mastering the rotation of sails for maximum speed and dropping the mast to squeeze under all the bullshit people left in the way, you'll run into one of the many blockages to your linear adventure. Here you'll have to hop off your only means of conveyance and explore the rundown vestiges of this formerly industrial world to clear a path. Sometimes it may be as simple as just opening a door, while other times you'll have to upgrade your giant floating barrel to give it the power necessary to move on. Whether that's supplying the familiar steam power by burning waterlogged garbage or turning the whole thing into a submarine, your shitty sailbox will slowly progress into a slightly less shitty problem-solving machine with everything you need to get as right as possible. On your expedition, the light platforming and puzzle solving you partake in will be the only gameplay that breaks up the often dreary sailing and steam chug-a-lugging through the picturesque backdrops of this nature-driven world. Sometimes storms and unexpected sea-based events will break up the uniformity, but in the end it's all about getting from left to right whether it's day or night. Far Changing Tides, the most relaxing post-apocalyptic romp through an increasingly dangerous decaying water world money can buy. Much like the previous game, this isn't a very long experience, so I didn't want to dive too deep and spoil it. It is longer than Far Lone Sails and has a more in-depth collection of puzzles, but it also pads out the time between them a bit with more uneventful sailing. It also puts more space between the fairly regular, awe-inspiring moments of the original. Still, with that, there's nothing about this game that's disappointing. The world that's been built both above and below the surface of the vast seas you sail is beautiful and inviting despite its desolation. The puzzles and exploration are innovative while still being intuitive enough to not hold you hostage as you find solutions. For these reasons, and others I won't spoil for you, I give this game the abbreviated score of… good. If you'd like to see more hot takes, warm satire, and tepid commentary about video games, make sure to subscribe and check out my other abbreviated reviews.